We have an effective vaccine, and unless something very unexpected happens, our viral enemy will be with us for many months and possibly many years. Even with some limitations being lifted, it's possible that life will not return to normal until a vaccine is widely available. Scientists around the world are rushing to make that happen. And when promising treatment is being tested right here in the metro, investigative reporter Angie Riccono takes a closer look at a DNA vaccine invented by a doctor from Kansas. 20 patients in Kansas City have already gotten this vaccine, and now they're getting their second shot or their booster shot. The hope is that this works and then can be fast-tracked for the rest of us. Okay, a little tiny stick. Now this may burn a little bit. Dawn and her son, Jared, are testing out a possible COVID-19 vaccine. Okay, let me get your neck comfortable. They read out everything and explain it really clearly, so it feels pretty safe. So I'm really not too worried about it. Okay, I'm not going to feel a thing here. We got the smallest needle in Kansas City. They know the importance globally. All righty. But their reason is very personal. I have um, a son and a sister who um, have an autoimmune disease, and I just worry about their future. Everyone involved understands what's at stake. Tremendously important. Uh, the most important thing I can think of. Okay. Dr. John Irvin directly oversees the trial in Kansas and gives patients the injections. He's familiar with testing. Now here comes the fun part. And amazed with the accelerated pace for COVID-19 trials. It's been like an unbelievably short period of time that they've been able to jump on this, which is just amazing. The vaccine he's currently testing is from Inovo. It's in the first phase of its trial. We are uh, very optimistic in, in, in getting to a very safe and potentially effective vaccine. Uh, from our testing. Dr. Joseph Kim created the vaccine. He's from Salina, Kansas, now working in Pennsylvania. His method is different from other vaccines, which use live or dead virus. This only uses DNA. He calls it a safer and more modern vaccine. The hope is a patient would develop their own antibodies in response to the DNA and then have full protection when they come in contact with the virus. Our bodies then just react to that and the immune system recognizes and generates very strong uh, antibody and T cell immune responses, both of which are very important for protecting, protecting the person from an actual virus attack. He created this DNA vaccine within three hours of China releasing the genetic sequence of COVID-19. We were able to jump on this uh, from day one. That's because his vaccine is closely modeled after the MERS vaccine he's been working on for years. Current trials show the effectiveness of that DNA vaccine is greater than 90 percent. How hopeful are you with the results you've seen so far? Because I know you're still in phase one. We're very hopeful. More than 100 companies are racing to produce a safe vaccine. The stakes are high. Human testing is underway in the U.S., China, the U.K., and Germany. Is it going to work? We don't know. We hope so. We have a cautious optimism that it will work. I uh, feel very comfortable with the safety of it. We were in the office as Don and Jared got their second round of shots, hoping they have protection for themselves and eventually others. It's neat if it works, then like a bunch of people could be saved. Perfect. Stay safe. All right, Bye-bye. The next phase of testing will include healthcare workers and first responders, and it will be an even larger pool of people but it's unclear if that will include Kansas City. Angie Riccono, KCTV5 News.